The main defendant in the trial over the 2015 Paris attacks is taking the stand today. Salah Abdeslam is 32 years old, and he is the only survivor among the 10 assailants who killed 130 people on November 13, 2015. He's charged with murders committed as part of a terrorist organization. Well, prosecutors and victims' families are hoping to learn how the man described as a party animal came to embrace Islamist extremism. Claire Pakalan's at the Palais de Justice uh, courthouse now, and she's going to join me for a bit more. Claire, first of all, talk us through exactly what's happening there today. Well, today and tomorrow, Salah Abdeslam will be questioned on the period in which he became radicalized. So his relationship with his brother Brahim, um, he's believed to have helped him travel to Syria. His own trip, Salah Abdeslam's own trip to Greece, that we don't know all that much about, as well as his relationship, his friendship to Ab Abdelhamid Abaoud, who is believed to have been the coordinator of the Paris attacks. We're also expecting some questions on the infamous Le Beguin Café in the Molenbeek neighbourhood in Brussels. That café was owned by Salah Abdeslam's brother, Brahim, and it was known by neighbours. It was infamous for being a place where young men would go and smoke joints. But it also became infamous as a place where some of those young men would watch propaganda videos from the Islamic State group. And some of the questions we've seen in the last couple of weeks have been directed toward other defendants in this case. Remember, there were 14 defendants in the courtroom. Um, some of those questions have been around those videos, what was in those videos, the executions, the beheadings, to what extent they were being watched in that cafe and who was watching them. Brahim Abdislam, Salah Abdislam's older brother, was one of the attackers on November 13th. He shot people in bars and cafes in Paris before blowing himself up outside a bar. And really, the questions today will not be focusing on that fateful night, November 13th. They won't be focusing either on the days leading up to the attacks. They really will be focusing on the period in which Salah Abdeslam became radicalized. So what more do we know, Claire, already about just who Salah Abdeslam is? Well, during the investigation which took place before the trial that went on for some five years, he barely uttered a word. He didn't cooperate with investigators. But we do know quite a lot about him now because he has been reasonably talkative since the trial began in September. He set the scene on the first day of the trial and said that he was a fighter for the Islamic State group. He said that in the courtroom. He was questioned also last November on aspects towards, they call it a personality questionnaire. It's more, it's about his context, where he's from, his childhood, upbringing, his schools. And in that, he described himself as a good student. He said that he was liked by his teachers. Um, he also described a, a burglary, an attempted burglary, um, in which landed him in prison and cost him his job in 2011. And things started to spiral out of control from then on. But really, that's what the focus of these questions are going to be today towards him, but also members of his family will also be questioned today and tomorrow about why, when and how Salah Abdeslam became radicalized. Claire, thank you for that. That's our Claire Pakalan reporting there from outside the Paris courthouse, the Palais de Justice.